G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Well, I'm back at Alan Upton's and it's a little bit earlier than expected. I'm here to have a look at his concrete matting after what was a major flooding event in the Yarra Valley. It made the national news. He had 116 mil in four days and it's basically turned all his low-lying areas into dams and streams. And they all collect in this one place in one of his crop paddocks to go into the local creek. This is of course where he installed his concrete mat to control erosion at this major pinch point and typically he only had a couple of inches of water at a time going over the side of the bank but in this event he had many times that volume of water all flowing to this one point. Let's see how the concrete mat performed and find out if the solution is working. G'day Alan, how are you mate? Good morning Tim. It's been uh, pretty substantial rainfall over the last week or so here. Certainly has. Uh, we got a bit of flood damage here but uh, not the wind damage just elsewhere, not 20 kilometres from us here where they had trees through houses and things like that. So yeah. yes we've had a bit of storm damage but uh, compared to others we're still okay. Yeah <laughs> so it's tested out your concrete mat area and it's tested out your erosion control methods that you're yes. using on this creek line. Yes. Now I have to point out you yes. inherited the water flow design that's here. Yes. That leads all of this water off all of your paddocks basically through to these one or two points along yes. the creek. Yes. Yes. The previous set up here with a big concrete spillway it failed yep and we're going with an, another alternative and uh, we thought we had the design right but <laughs> <laughs> turns out we didn't have the one in a hundred year storm figured no it didn't, so, didn't uh, factor that one in so what are the learnings from this mate uh look i believe we're on the right track for sure yep um there's not much i can do to change the water upstream yep. uh, but uh, just a bit of bad luck with the timing of this where uh I had intended the grass to stabilise the fresh soil we'd put down. It had only got a few weeks growth into it instead yep. of, uh, look, had this event happened next year, I'm sure this would have all been stabilised and, and, and the and root and the concrete mat tie it all together and it could have taken it all. But And your design was really designed for typical overflow levels yes, and yeah. you've had to deal with a tsunami of water. A almost. one in a 50 type year event uh, yeah yeah well there's a bit of work we can do to reinstate the concrete mat back to how it was but it's interesting to compare where the concrete mat was and where the storm water flood came down and the concrete mat wasn't it's chalk and cheese as we can see the water has just come over this top of this uh bankment here come down here and we've got this erosion down beside the matting which no, didn't expect it whatsoever and where it's come down the concrete matting it's washed out a couple of wheelbarrow fulls of soil only. So what you're saying is this you believe is entirely repairable yes. you get some soil back in underneath that and fix it up yes. in the meantime you've run your pipe here the old pipe we thought we'd got rid of <laughs> just, just a as of a band-aid. Yeah. Bit of temporary fix to uh, take a bit of pressure off this until we can get it sorted again. But we can see the majority of the soil here has been held in place by the concrete mat. Yes. So maybe the plan is to widen this and make the trench shallower. Is that, yes. is that the uh, idea? Yes, it's a probably decade of this one in 50 year event if that's what it is. Uh, if it was wider and it would carry more volume down this uh, this slope and into the creek without without uh, eroding the uh, the bank. So even even with this event, if we had had a couple more months, it could have been a very different result. You reckon, Alan? Yes, for sure. Yeah. We had talked about this earlier. We did this in uh, I think it was May or something like that. It was May. Yeah. May and uh, normally would have expected the October to be our major rain month and where the ground is wet enough that a a shower, a big rain event there creates this sort of wash and uh, from May through to October I had expected the grass to help stabilise it, the ground to consolidate and it would have coped with it much better then but a bit of bad luck timing well, events. You had about six feet of water or so extra flowing in the creek at that point as well, uh, it was yes, going absolutely. over your spillway. Yes, yeah it was coming down the creek metres deep 
uh, versus it's about this deep today. Yeah, yeah. You know, a week on. So we're talking about a huge volume of water. Yes, we have had erosion, but where the concrete mat is, it's actually held the dirt in place. Yes. And it's recoverable. If that Recover wasn't there, what would you be expecting? Uh, virtually back to where we started <laughs> before Just we did it. gully, <laughs> nasty gully. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, got to near, the creek got to nearly 900 megalitres a day going down the creek, according wow. to the uh, local uh, monitoring station. Yeah. Apparently it's probably running at uh, about 15. That's 15 and it was running at 900. Yes. That's a significant flow of water, isn't yes. it? Yes, it is that 1 in 50, 1 in 100, who knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you've had a fair flow across your crossing as well, yes. Alan. You had a concrete yeah. crossing and causeway here. Yes. And yeah. how high was it running? Probably knee high over the top of the causeway here when the, at the peak, but that was uh, at 10 o'clock at night and I wasn't going to test it then. <laughs> but you did get a little bit of video. I got a little bit That's of video. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> looked out at a distance, but uh, yeah, the flood water has come up to uh, yeah, and it's standard here. It was about this high here. That's just a little bit of a clean up um, and thankfully due to the concrete matting hopefully the overflow is just a little bit of a clean up. Well it will still be work but uh, <laughs> I think we'll, we'll manage it. Let's hope we get a, uh, a bit more time between when we get the finish the earthworks and it gets tested like it did like that again. Well that's a really good update Alan and it looks like we're on the right track with yes. that solution. Um, bump along the way but uh you know you get those things yeah. it's farming isn't it that's right yeah. could, could have been far worse thankfully yeah. yeah no good on you mate thanks for sharing not a problem once again guys if you like this video don't forget hit the little like button down there give it a thumbs up and don't forget there's plenty more content on timthompson.ag mm -hmm.